Welcome to Clinica Ruiz. Let us tell you more about us. Clinica Ruiz is a compound where several medical services are provided by subsidiary companies. In the particular case of the HSUT program, five different companies work together to provide a full integral treatment. These companies are the following. HIM, the company that makes sure your medical treatment is well conducted. Laboratorios Ruiz, the company that takes care of your pre-laboratory and imaging testing, as well as the follow-up blood samples and cell counts. Blood Bank, the company that provides the pharmacies and transfusions you need. Farmacentro, the company that assures that you have all the medication required for your treatment. Musk, the company that provides the lodging, transportation, translation and meal services as well as the handicapped equipment and accessories. Our goal is for all five companies to work at the same pace in order to provide you with the best medical attention and comfort during your stay. We would like to introduce our medical team. Dr. Guillermo José Ruiz Argüelles. Dr. David Gómez Almaguer. Dr. Guillermo José Ruiz Delgado. HST for autoimmune diseases, treatment day by day. The first step of the process consists on a series of preliminary tests. These include a blood panel, chest x-ray, electrocardiogram and a spirometry test to assure patient safety. Patients attend to specialist evaluations with a neurologist, pulmonologist and cardiologist. Patients then provide a complete medical history and are instructed with the specifics regarding medications, do's and don'ts, and what to expect from their overall procedure. This is when the first hematology consultation with the medical staff occurs. As soon as the medical team evaluates the preliminary test, and conclude patient is ready for chemotherapy, two consecutive days of cyclophosphamide begin. To further mobilize the stem cells from the bone marrow into the bloodstream, subcutaneous field gracium injections will be applied every 12 hours during a 7-day period. During this week, an outpatient procedure to install a peripheral catheter at the hospital will take place. Our intention is to obtain a better blood flow in order to maximize stem cell collection as well as facilitate infusion of the second chemotherapy session and the transfusion of the stem cells. Two days prior to the transplant, an aphoresis procedure is conducted, whereby, using an automized cell separator, the stem cells required for the transplant are obtained. These are not processed, only stored at a controlled temperature. Once sufficient stem cells have been harvested, Two days of high dose cyclophosphamide chemotherapy take place in order to further reduce white blood cells and suppress the majority of the existing immune system. At this stage, patients are ready to receive their transplant. This is when, by infusion, the stem cells are given back to each patient. After the transplant, patients enter a period called neutropenia. This varies from patient to patient, but usually appears between 48 and 72 hours after the transplant and will last approximately 7 to 10 days. Hematologic recovery occurs when patients' level of white blood cells, leukocytes, platelets and hemoglobin are at the correct levels. This is known as engraftment. Upon recovery, a rituximab infusion is given in order to deplete any remaining lymphocytes. At this point, patient can return home. At Clinica Ruiz, our number one priority is offering world-class medical attention. This includes the additional services that make your experience in Mexico as comfortable as possible. Upon arrival, our team will collect you at the airport to drive you to your assigned apartment. All of our drivers are fully bilingual and serve as translators if you need anything outside the apartments. All patients are provided with a fully furnished apartment with a small kitchen and living room in a closed facility with security. Amongst the amenities patients will find 
cable TV with English-speaking channels, broadband internet service including Wi-Fi, roof garden, business center, handicap equipment, and as a plus to the services provided, meals are included within the treatment. Whether it is cooked meals at our cafeteria or grocery carts, patients no longer have to spend in meals while undergoing the procedure. Ground transportation to and from medical-related procedures is included as well as trips to the store. Patients may even be taken sightseeing or to other elective activities upon a special request. 